Now, after Davidson, you spent a year in England playing professionally. Mm -hmm. What was the best part of that and what was the worst part? The best part was like I, you know, I was young. I had a car. I was playing basketball. Like that was my job to play basketball. And that's like, and obviously everybody wants to make it to the NBA. But at some point like that, that dream was no longer realistic for me. So I I wasn't going to make the NBA, but I still got a chance to play at sort of a relatively high level, get paid. Um, and like, like I, I would wake up and, and I would sort of get the hard stuff out of the way. Like I got to go work out. Like I got to go lift. I got to do all this, this stuff. And then, you know, I figure out like, all right, what am I going to do with the rest of my day? Like, how am I going to feel the time? So I was able to travel. Um, I was able to, to, to experience a lot of different things. Um, you know, I, I tried to learn Spanish. I, I traveled to like different, different countries where they didn't speak English, um, where I could learn Spanish and just sort of be um, immersed in, in different cultures. So that, that was the best part, um, being able to just, you know, play basketball for a living, right? Um, but also find a way to balance all the other things that I wanted to do because, you know, I, you know, I love music. I love reading. I got, I, and I love like eating. Right. So I, I got to do a little bit of all of that. Cause you outside of the, the, the sort of a lot of time that you spend playing um, professional basketball, you got a, you got a lot of time on your hands and I was able to sort of take advantage of that. And I really, I, I really appreciate that. I sort of had that perspective, even, uh, you know, when I, when I was doing it and I didn't, I didn't want to have any regrets. Right. So when I was over in England, I tried to take it, try to do as many things as, you know, set a lot of goals and do as many things as I could while I was there. 